name is Dave Cloutier, editor of the JVGS Journal of Orthopedics for Physician Assistants, and we'll be uh, taking a video of a fluoroscopic guided intraarticular injection of the right shoulder. It's a 50-year-old 50, 50 gentleman with adhesive capsulitis, and we're going to be doing a steroid injection today. So I'll wipe him off with uh, betadine and alcohol, sterilize the skin. We have him draped out here. So then I will uh, take and feel for my coracoid, and uh, we're going to check our needle placement here. So I'll move it up a little bit. Now the patient's arm is to his side and uh, with his palm up to get the biceps out of the way. So we're going to move that needle again, x-ray, and I'll move over a little bit, x-ray. So you can see I'll make a little mark in the, uh, the shoulder where the needle is going in. I have my placement at the uh, superior humeral head there. And so we'll go in with a little pinch on three, one, two, three, and pinch. And I'll go down really slowly, making sure I don't plunge into the bone. And I can feel myself go through the capsule. And then we'll un the needle and uh, take an x-ray. So I'm going to move just lateral there with my needle. And you'll get a better feel of if I'm in the shoulder joint by just touching the humeral head there. And I'll inject a little lidocaine, make sure I have good flow without resistance. And no real resistance there, so we'll take another x ray. We'll see where we're at. X ray. As you can see, I'm right above the surface there. And no resistance. So we'll uncap the needle and just check our needle placement again. X ray. And this is the contrast uh, of saline ice of you that we're going to put in the shoulder here. And again, I'll feel for my needle placement. A nice, easy flow tells me that I'm inside the joint. And then we'll take an x ray there. And you can see, we'll take one more x ray. X ray. And you can see a nice um, dye pattern lining the capsule. So we know we're inside the joint now. We're going to inject the shoulder with the, the uh, Depamedrol. So I have 6 cc's of 1% lidocaine and 1 cc of 80 milligrams Depamedrol. And I'm going to slowly inject the Depamedrol into the shoulder there. And you can see, I will take one more x-ray and you'll see that the dye has been diluted a bit, spread out. So I can withdraw the needle here. And if you'd like further information on the injection technique, you can visit the JOPA archive under fluoroscopic guided injections of the shoulder. Thank you.